Now it's time to create our third mesh network for the road elements which are running in the Z direction. Rather than having to tediously build a new mesh network, we can duplicate an existing mesh network in the mesh editor. Right click on mesh 2 road main and select duplicate network. Duplicating a network not only creates a new mesh network in ReproMesh, it also duplicates any locators and fall loss, as well as the original geometry that has been created with the mesh network. Let's replace the suffix of the new mesh network and any of its child objects from mesh2 road main1 to mesh3 road cross. I'll just go ahead and do this and join you again in a second. Now that everything is renamed, let's deactivate the signal offset and spring node of the mash network and let's select the transform locator for mash and now we will move this making sure our grid nap, snap is selected so undo that and Rotate and I'm just going to switch on my step snap rotation, 15 degrees. Hide that again. There we go. Just move it over one. We don't need the first replicator for this mash node. So rather than delete it, we'll just switch it off for just now. And in our distribute node, we're going to change our number of points to 19 and our distance to 18. I'm just going to reduce our number of replicants there down to two. Ah, just move that back across one. I don't think that was looking right. And go up to three, that's better. We need to add the second road geometry, road two, into this mesh network. That's the one with the yellow cross pattern. So to do this, let's select our main mash point and move across to our repro node. In the repro node, we can see which geometry objects are being used in this mash network. We can see that the object road three has been created when we duplicate the mash network. Right click on road zero three and let's delete it. And let's delete it from the outliner back in our mash network. So that's our road one and two, and then our mash editor Go back to our repro node and using our middle mouse button, drag them across. Alternatively, we could have right clicked and used add selected objects from the outliner. We can't see the second geometry object, which is the road crossing object. To see it, we need to add an ID node to the network. So selecting our network, let's add a ID node, which is here. Just move that down and that's chosen an ID count of two, but we need to set it to six. Go back to the repro node and swap our order so that our road cross element is in the correct place. Let's reactivate the signal and offset nodes as well as the spring. And just like that, we have all of our road sections animated. Before we get stuck into the building elements of our mesh networks, let's just hide the fall off objects using Control H so that we don't have an over cluttered viewport. So I'm just going to select them in the outliner using Command and then Control H. 